Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pingvin Share on Casa OS. So, I'm going to walk you through everything on the Docker and Post side, and, and Pingvin Share is to where you can share files, and you can do reverse shares to where you give out URLs, and they can upload files to you. And um, so, a little bit about the series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and Let's get started. So I'm going to start on the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Hide and Saw Ping Ben Share on Cost OS right here. And then I'm going to go into Docker and Pose Ping Ben Share right here. And then I'm going to explain it. So version uh, 3.8 of Docker and Pose is being used. Set some services. And then the service underneath the services is Pingvin Share. That's the name of the service. And then uh, uh, image is coming from Docker Hub. And how you know that is there's no URL in the beginning of this. And then restart unless stopped. So that means if, it, if, it, if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. Set some port mappings. So uh, the host port is 3000. The container port is 3000. You cannot change the container's port. And if this has a port conflict with any other ports uh, that you have, then you'll need to change this n number or change the other services number. And then now I'm going to set some volumes. So data app data, ping, Vin share, and the data. This is on the host side right here, and this is on the host side, and then this is on the container side. So, you cannot change the container's path. You can only change the host path. So, you can change these right here. So, now I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. Then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS and get this installed. So now I'm over in my Casa OS now. So I'm going to go to App Store. Then I'm going to cut a custom install right here. And then I'm going to go to Import. And then I'm going to import my Docker and Post file. So now I'm going to paste what I copied over in the GitHub. Okay, now I'm going to submit. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to give it a title. So ping then share. And then I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Assets and get the icon. So I'm going to go backwards to here. Then I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go back over my cost OS. And then I'm going to paste it. I'm going to set the web UI port to 3000. And then I'm going to set a container host name to pingvin share. And then I'm going to install. You can continue in background. And this is just downloaded off Docker Hub. And now it's looking for a newer image off the latest tag. Okay, so now it's installed. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So up in the top right, you, you, you have these vertical dots. And then now you can open it. You can set your tips. So if you have tips that you want to just set, you can just set, set it. And it saves it. And then you can go back in there and you can see your tip always. It's like a little notepad. And then now you can go into settings. You can change the settings. And then you, you can press save. And then you can say... You can see the terminal logs. You can export your Docker Compose file. So terminal logs are great for debugging. So I'm going to exit that. And now you can check for updates for the current tag it's on, which you got that, that, that's going to be the latest tag. So, and then now you can uninstall, you can restart, and you can power off and on. So that's the options. So what if you want to see the files that Pingbin share uh, cr uh, creates and the binds that we created the volumes? So now you can go on the files app right here. You can go to app data and then Pingbin share. 
And then you can go to the data directory or the images directory. So you can go in here, you can see about what's in it. You can see the database file. And then you can go in images too, and you can see the fa favicons, the icons. You can also go in here and you can go here and check mark it and you can download it, copy it, cut it and delete it or can a cancel. So that's how to get to the files that Pingvin Share creates in cost OS. So now I'm going to set up the uh, UI for Penguin Share. So I'm going to go in here, open. Then I'm going to say get started. And then I'm going to put a username in. So I'm going to put Big Bear. And then I'm going to put an email address in. Then I'm going to put a password in. And then I'm going to say let's get started. Now you can go in here to customize configuration. You can go up here and change the uh, the local host to your IP of the Casa OS. So I'm going to go over here and you can see it's 113. So I'm going to go in 192.168.1.113. Okay, now I'm going to say save. And then you can see that you can uh, edit the emails that automatically go out. You can edit the share settings, so allow registration, allow authentication shares, max size, and then zip compression level. You can go over here, and if you have access to SMP, SMTP server, you can fill in this information, send a test email, and then save. So now you can go over here, you can say a user management, you can create more users. You can also go up here to upload files and then you can share it. So you can go over here, you can cr create upload file, then you can go to reverse shares. Reverse shares are to where you're going to create a URL and then you're going to give this URL to a, another person and then they can upload files to you. So you can set the expiration date, you can set the max uh, share size, and you can set the max uses. So once you do that, you can just pr uh, pr press create and then it'll generate a URL right here and then you can upload to that URL. So that's how to get Pingvin Share UI working. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Pingvin Share working on COS OS. I went over uh, about a lot of steps and I taught you about the files app, taught you about the, uh, the ports and uh, the, the volumes and everything like that. So if you like that tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.